two conversations with veterans Gary Roberts and Mark Recchi, both of whom spoke volumes about the balance and the depth of this hockey team. There's an impressive core assembled here of both youngsters and veterans, but given this day and age of salary caps and free agency, the time to win just might be sooner rather than later here in Steeltown. James Sabalski, TSN, Pittsburgh. Batista into center ice to Lomakin. Samyanov to Samak, he scores! Samak into the top corner. And the Soviets win in overtime, 6-5. to five. And with that, the Soviet Union shocked Team Canada at the Forum in Montreal to grab a 1-0 lead in the best of three finals. They demonstrated to us that uh, they were maybe a little bit better than we were estimating at the time. So what was the mood in the Canadian dressing room after that dramatic loss? They didn't need to be told what, what had to be done. Uh, there was enough pride in that room that every guy knew uh, what was expected of them and uh, of us, and we knew we had to get the job done. So down one game to none in the best of three Canada Cup final this series, headed from Montreal west to Hamilton for game two. Team Canada needing a win or the series would be over. Mike Keenan had a solution, putting the two greatest players of all time on the same line, Gretzky and Lemieux together. The pairing resulting in what the great one called his best game ever. Here's the reception as Team Canada takes the ice. I remember going on the ice in the warm-up and seeing the enthusiasm and the excitement and the atmosphere that we had in the Hamilton Arena. Gretzky was just, uh, he was so dominant, not only with the puck, but away from the puck, and all of a sudden there would be a turnover and he, he'd be free. Gretzky to Gardner, Gardner moving right in. Gardner in front to Gretzky, gets it to Poppy right in, he took, he scores! Paul Poppy! Mike Keenan changed the course of the series in game two when he paired Gretzky together on a line with Mario Lemieux. It was the ability of Mario to read off of Wayne and, and the element of surprise to a little, to a little extent that the, the, the Soviets weren't uh, ready for it. We were both really excited about playing with each other um, and I think that's what really helped our chem chemistry a great deal is that we both wanted to play with each other. Canada jumped to a 3-1 lead after the first but two Soviet goals midway through the second tied the game. It was at that point that the Lemieux and Gretzky show took over. And fourth, third and here's Gretzky with Lemieux. Two on one break. Gretzky to Lemieux. Scores! I don't know what Yellow Shaken thought but he's got the two greatest forwards in the game today coming at him. What are you going to do? Back to Bork to Coffey. Shoots, Yellow Shaken the same rebound. They score! With just over a minute to play in Canada leading 5-4, Valerie Kamensky split the Canadian D to score a spectacular goal to tie it at five. It would take double overtime with the Soviets on the verge of winning the Canada Cup before two familiar faces hooked up yet again. Out to Murphy. Murphy to Gretzky. Hit the post. Rebound. They score! Mario Lemieux! Canada wins! The series is tied! The game Wayne played tonight, I've played with him for... I've seen him play for 10 years, I've never seen him play better. I've seen him get 7, 8 points a game, 6 points a game, 6 goals a game, but I've never seen him play better than he did tonight. Playing against that team um, and doing what we did winning overtime, I think personally was the best game I ever played. It all added up to 5 assists for Gretzky, a hat trick for Lemieux, and a series tied at 1 with a deciding third game on the horizon. And we continue our 20th anniversary flashback of Canada Cup 87 on Saturday. Game three produced one of the greatest moments in Canadian hockey history. Gretzky to Lemieux. It's Saturday on SportsCenter. Coming up, who will come out on top when two AFC...